me, Vicky Hitchin, and I thought it was about time where I shared with you a lowdown of all the Slimming World friendly recipes that I've been doing recently. So it's all nice, easy, bite-sized pieces, rather than going through absolutely every video and maybe just well, I can imagine that being quite time consuming. You might just want to pick out bits through this short video and think, yeah, I want to try that. So I will leave all the links below with the name of them so you can just go straight to that and hopefully you'll find something that you really love. So I'm going to start off with one of my favourites recently, which is a base carrot and parsnip oats. And it's really yummy for breakfast. It's so filling, but don't let parsnips turn you off because you can't actually taste them well. I can't. And I'm not the biggest fan of parsnips either. I find them a bit tangy for my liking, so I often have to roast them first anyway. And this works out about half a sin per serving, or a sin if you really are strict with your sweetener. And it really is divine with a naughty drizzle of syrup and a dollop of yogurt. And then next, I really wanted to try something new, and that was slow cooker Boston beans. Because often I go through Pinterest looking for recipe ideas, and most of them aren't exactly slimming old friendly. So I couldn't wait to adapt this, and this actually works out of two sins per serving. It makes about eight servings as well. Yes, it's more calorific than your usual tin of beans, but it's just really yummy. So give it a go. And then next something that I found was really yummy and I'm sure you will too and that's a chicken, bacon and bean casserole and I actually popped this in my oven. You could probably do this in a slow cooker as well. Well, I'm sure you could. It's got lots of garlic in. You might want to omit some of those. You could have with pasta or rice. Just a good hearty family meal that you can just tuck in. And if I didn't say it's sin-free, it's sin-free. And then something completely new for me, and that was roast cauliflower, lemon and cumin soup. And I say new for me because this technically was a sponsored blog post, but not a sponsored video. I just like to do the videos anyway as extras so you can see me making the recipes. But it actually was a Baxter's recipe, and this was really nice. It really tasted like a Greek recipe, so definitely one to try. And it's actually quite fun roasting a cauliflower, and I think I'm definitely going to roast a cauliflower another day as a dipper. And then a recipe I'd been dying to make, and that was a lotion pudding, which is sin-free. Now, this is not going to be everybody's favourite. If you like pure cakes and sugary things, then you might not like this, because my fiancé didn't, but I did. Quite often, I want something sweet, but I don't want to break the sins bank, if you know what I mean. And this one was really yummy with the yoghurt. I wouldn't want to eat this on its own. So thanks to those who recommended me trying this on Instagram after I shared my Kugel recipe. Then, back in January, I went to a Korean cooking session with De Hay West and Simply Beef and Lamb, and it was so much fun, particularly when you get to learn new flavours. So this one was a healthy tofu and prawn soup, and it's got courgette noodles in there, but you could add your own noodles as well. In fact, I did do the following day, and it's sin-free. It's not the most filling full of carbs or anything, but if you really want something that's full of flavour, this is your bad boy. And then while we're on that Korean theme, I shared with you a crispy beef noodles. And this actually had udon noodles. It worked out one sin per person. It's got to be tried. And it serves two people. And I could eat this again and again. And quite early on in January, I invited my friend Kira from My Fussy Eater. So go and check her out. And she shared with us a sin-free slow cooker chicken fajita. Perfect if you want to use some healthy extra beef-free wraps. Or you could just pop it on baked potatoes or something. So I haven't tried this yet, I am meaning to do it, and I hope you like that one as well. And at the same time, which you might not have known, I actually shared my slow cooker cola gammon recipe, one of my most popular ones on Pinterest, and that's a very low CN one. So nice and easy. And then for my penultimate one, this is my favourite recipe of all. I love pasta. In fact, I've been dying to tell you, I did not know I'm part Italian. And that's something that I learned recently from one of my best ever birthday presents, Ancestry.com. Totally, totally addicted. But maybe that explains why I love Italian food so much. So when I cracked this sin-free gnocchi recipe, I was practically dancing in the kitchen. You have to try it. And then finally, one that has completely surprised me of being my most pinned picture right now, and that is my slow cooker, low sin Cajun gumbo recipe. So easy to make, it's really tasty. Again, you can have it with rice, pasta, or baked potatoes, and it's the perfect family meal just to spoon it out, and it just brings back memories to my time in the States. 
So let me know what you thought of those recipes, what you're going to try, what you'd like me to try and feel free to comment how you got on below. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.